All right, in this video, we're going to look at the FATLS Plus and evaluating a race with that system. It's a thousand frames a second. This is an indoor race, the girls 3200, and it was actually, this is a previously recorded race, but this actually was done in real time. So as each runner comes across the finish line, they appear on the screen and you can evaluate this as they are finishing. So here we got number one. You can see this little slice of video that you get to help further identify. Um, the good thing about this is, again, this is done in real time. So as each runner is finishing, you're going in and evaluating their place. You just identify and it becomes a lot quicker because when they're when the last runner is finished, you're done. Click save, and you're ready to start the next race. Um, let me look at pulling up a video from or a captured race from one that was not done at. Um, and that's not a very good. One. That's not only a couple of finishers there. Let me look at this it's right here. I think. It's, Alright, so this was done capturing as normal. So as the runners come across the line, you hit capture. When the last runner comes through, you save it. Um, so you have something that looks like this. Now with this program, you can click these little scissors here. If you've done this after, you've, after the race, you've already saved it, you can click this and it will actually crop out all the blank space in between the runners. You can go identify. You see this little slice of video it helps you identify the runners. So that is lane three right there. That's lane six. That's lane five. Lane seven. And that is one. So it makes it easier so we do not have a two or a four in that. So there's a little idea of what it's like to evaluate races with the um, line scan program at 1,000 frames a second. Now you can change this camera to 500 frames a second and there's a wide angle, which means you get a wider view of this little video strip in here. It's about twice as wide. Um, and this picture is only at 500 frames a second. As you can see the clock down here, if I put this on here and just move it, you can see it moves one one thousandth of a second. Um, if you had it at 500 frames a second, that obviously would be at, you'd skip one, it'd be at two one thousandths of a second. This really helps to figure out close races. You can also zoom in if you need, if you have a really close race. Now the lighting, this was an indoor meet, the lighting was not very good, so the pictures are not great because the lighting was really low. Um, that is one thing about these higher frame rates is that they're really sensitive to low light. But it's not bad. You can also see in here the these hip numbers are backwards. Um, you can change the direction. They were obviously were finishing going this way, but the, in their picture they're going this way. In their pictures number, you can click this little thing here, and it will actually send them in the direction they were finishing if you want to do that. Also, it does help to have hip numbers on every runner a lot of times, so you can help identify these lanes. But that is basically it for the line scan camera. If you have any questions, give me a shout. Rick at flashtiming.com.